Hi there, thank you so much for joining me today. I'm really excited for this video because I have pulled out every single mini or travel size or deluxe size version of all the products I could find in my collection and I am able to do a full face of minis. Years ago when I was really into creating cost per use content and trying to get the most value out of what you own type of content, I was very against minis and travel sizes mostly because the cost per ounce or the cost per gram was much higher than if you were to purchase the full size. Part of me still stands by that but I am starting to see the merit in purchasing a smaller version of an item, especially a product that takes a lot longer to use up, or if it's a formula that you're not sure of and being able to purchase the smaller size means that you can test it out before committing to the full size. I'm going to show you a little snapshot of all the minis that I have in front of me. I have so many products and I also have an entire skincare routine as well. Out of everything, I only have maybe three or four products that I don't currently have in a mini version. There's a brow product, a facial spray, a lip liner, and that might be it, and a face powder. Those are the four things, but everything else I have in mini version, and I have multiple options, so we're gonna choose some of them together. So let's start with the skincare routine. I have two kind of tonic or chemical exfoliant products. I have this mini from Paula's Choice. It's the 2% DHA liquid exfoliant. I'm almost finished with this. I've used it quite a few times and I really like it. I understand why so many people hype it up. And then I also have a mini of an old favorite. This is the Pixi Glow Tonic Exfoliating Toner. Look at how cute these are. <laughs> They're so small. I'm going to try to keep myself from saying that about every little thing today. But I do have a full size. This is the eight and a half ounce one and this one is only half of an ounce. If you see the difference in size, it's so small. The salicylic one I think is a little bit, I don't want to say harsher, but it's a little more effective than this one. So I typically only use this one at night. So today I'm going to use the Glow Tonic. One thing I will say is really great about the Paula's Choice one is that it has its own little cap on it. I don't know if it's focusing fully, but you can take off this lid and it has a little peg in it or something and that way whenever you close it it's very sealed and so this is great if you want to travel with this you can be almost guaranteed that it's not going to leak everywhere versus this one it's just an open container with a lid on top so it's more likely to leak and I don't know if there is a difference but for the Polish Choice one I just put a couple drops in the palm of my hand spread it out and then press it into my skin Versus the Glow Tonic, I still use with like a cotton round or something. Although I do imagine you could probably still just use your hands for it, but I don't know. I always feel like I like using a cotton pad with the Glow Tonic. I do have a mini eye cream. This is from a little mini e.l.f. set. Um, I purchased this during the Black Friday sales last year and it came with uh, their face cream. It came with the cleansing balm. It came with the hydration booster drops and it came with a face wash as well. So it came like with pretty much the entire skincare line from this Holy Hydration line, which I do really like. I like the face cream from this a lot. The eye cream's a little bit thin. For moisturizer, I do have three mini options. One of them is just a little sample packet from Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Magic Cream. I just used up an ounce bottle of it and I'm really sad. I don't wanna buy it again because it's very expensive, uh, but I do know that I really like this. Another one I know I like is the Holy Hydration e.l.f. Face Moisturizer from that mini set that I just talked about. One that I'm not as familiar with is this one from Tatcha. It's the Dewy Skin Cream. This was the birthday gift for Sephora. It came with a little mini cleanser as well. This one I haven't really ever used, and so for the sake of this video, I don't want to use it because I kind of want to just focus on the ones that I know I really enjoy. So I'm going to use the e.l.f. one. Like I said, I don't have a mini facial spray. I really, really like the Hylamide Subcumis. And I just saw that Desiem did an announcement where they're going to be discontinuing some of their umbrella brands. The Ordinary, their most well-known one, is staying. But I think the Hylamide one is going to be eventually phased out, which I'm really sad about because this is my favorite facial spray. I love it. Another thing I wanted to mention is... I wear sunscreen pretty much every day, even when I don't really think I'm going to be leaving the house. I don't have a mini sunscreen on me at the moment, so I'm not going to apply one, but just know I usually always wear sunscreen. And I'm going to take some of that face cream and apply it to my lips as well. 
For primer, I have three mini primers. The first one is one that I talk about all the time. It's the Primed and Peachy Primer from Too Faced. And then I have two from Tarte. One is more mattifying and one is more hydrating. I have the Base Tape Hydrating Primer and then this is the Timeless Smoothing Primer. And because of the foundations I'm gonna be using today, uh, they're more skin-like, they're more moisturizing, they're more lighter coverage. So I don't feel like I need to put on a hydrating primer because the foundation's very hydrating. So I'm gonna stick with the Tarte one. I think this is a really great size for something like this because I think the large, the full size would take me forever to use up and I would worry that it would dry out being like in an open container like that. So I just take a little bit on my finger and then I just work it into the places where I want to make sure I'm more mattified. So that's definitely right here by my nose on my cheek. And then I do some on my chin. And then I do some right here on my forehead, kind of working it down between my eyebrows. I do tend to get kind of shiny right there. And then I also put like just a little bit also in the inner corner of my eyelid. I find that making that a little bit more mattified helps to minimize how deep set that part looks or just kind of I don't know if it minimizes the shadow but it being shiny doesn't look very flattering for me I just don't like how that looks on me this is very smooth and I haven't found that it pills on me at all sometimes with these types of products I worry that they're gonna bunch up and pill on top of whatever moisturizer or sunscreen I have underneath. I haven't found that this has done that yet. I'm really liking that one so far. And if you can see, it gives my skin more of a matte finish, but it doesn't make me look dry. And it doesn't look like anything on the skin and it doesn't feel like anything on the skin either, which is really great. Sometimes I worry with those types of primers that they'll feel really heavy. For foundation, I have the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Tinted Moisturizer from ColourPop. This is in the shade Light 7W, so it is too dark for me. And then the other one is the Tarte Hydroflex Serum Foundation. This is in the shade Fair and Neutral. This is a really great match for me. You definitely want to shake up the Tarte Serum Foundation first because it is very liquidy and I'll show you how liquidy it is on the back of my hand. I do want to use just a little bit of the ColourPop one. I like to mix my foundations. If you can see the difference in shade, like the ColourPop one is definitely darker than my skin tone. And I do have a sponge here. I do have a mini sponge from ColourPop, but it's way too small. I tried using it in a vlog I did a couple weeks ago where I was staying in a cabin in Hidden Valley, and I was using that sponge to apply my makeup, and it was so small that it took forever to like blend everything into my skin. So I'm just gonna use a regular size sponge today. But because these have such a natural coverage, I don't really want to use a sponge because I feel like it'll just soak everything up. So I'm gonna start with my fingers and then go from there. Well, let's try one side with a sponge to see what the difference is. So this side I use the sponge and this side I use my finger. I did get a little bit more coverage using the finger side, but I think I'm gonna go in with another layer. I think I just need a little bit more. These are both such natural coverage products that I really can't build it up any more than it's already been <laughs> built up, but that's okay. I don't mind a lower coverage foundation. I don't typically go for it, but I definitely can work with it. My lips are getting a little bit dry, so I'm going to pull out this Maracuja Juicy Lip from Tarte. This is in the shade Rose. And even for it being so little, they did do a really nice job with the packaging. I will say these smell very heavily of coconut, and they also have a little bit of a coconut taste. So if you're not a fan of that, I would not recommend trying these. For concealer, I have another Tarte Mini. This is the Hydro Concealer in the shade Fair Neutral again. This one also has a lower coverage, and so I am going to build it up quite a bit, just because that is what I like. I know it looks really light on me, but the coverage level is not um, very high, so I don't find that it looks too light once I blend it out. It's not the fullest coverage concealer. I would like something that has a little bit more coverage normally, but it's fine. I feel like having a super high coverage concealer with a lower coverage foundation probably wouldn't look the best, so I think it'll look balanced in the end. I have two cream 
face products from Tarte. The first one is a cream blush. This is in the shade Pink Sky. And then the cream bronzer is in the shade Seychelles. Number one, I love the light blue packaging on these and I like that the back has slightly different colored stickers and that way if I have both of these together, I can easily tell which one is which even though they have the same packaging. And I love that they do sell these types of products in minis as well because I feel like the full size would be really hard to use up before it expires. One thing overall about the Tarte mini line, even though it is great that they have such an extensive amount of minis that they offer, like pretty much everything that they sell full size, they do have a mini version of it. But with their concealers and their foundations and their cheek products, they usually have a limited shade range versus the full size is usually much bigger. For example, the cream cheek blush and the cream bronzer, I think they both have like two or three shades in their full size line, but their travel size ones, they only have these two shades available. I really haven't been using as much bronzer as I normally do. Uh, just over the past few years, I found that with how pale my body is, having a really bronzed face doesn't really match <laughs> very well with the rest of my body. Um, so I am going to use a very small amount of this cream bronzer and I'm just going to use my sponge to grab a little bit of it and I'm going to start right here on my cheeks because if you can see that is very pigmented but it blends out really nicely kind of like the Charlotte Tilbury contour sticks like I wouldn't say that these are the same at all but they both blend out really nicely. Like they kind of look scary on your face, but then they blend out really well. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. I'm also not a pro when it comes to cream bronzers in general, so I'm probably not applying it in the best way, but I really like to have a warmth like right here on my face. So I am gonna go in and put a little bit more on the bridge of my nose and on the tops of my cheeks and make sure that there's some in my crease as well. I could build it up if I wanted to, but I don't really want to. Um, and then I'm gonna go in and add some of the cream blush as well. I'm just gonna use the same sponge, maybe turn around to a different side. I really like this color. I think this undertone has more of a natural flush for me versus being something really peachy. I have found that I'm growing tired of peachy blushes right now. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> I just finished an entire peachy blush from Hourglass, not even a few months ago, and now it's like the last thing I wanna put on my face. I just think these kind of slightly plummy, rosy undertones are very flattering on me right now. Maybe it's just because I'm at my palest at the moment. I'm focusing a lot of it on like the front apple of my cheek and then kind of sloppily <laughs> making sure it's blended out around because I don't like having very precise blush. I don't feel like that's the best blush application shape for me. And also taking whatever is left on the sponge and putting it on my eyelids too. These are not as creamy as I thought that they would be. They are a little bit stiffer, which I think is better. I, I think that maybe that formula works better for me and what I prefer in a cheek product. Like I said, I don't have a mini powder, so I'm just gonna use some Too Faced peachy powder. I just have it in a little extra container here. And I'm gonna use some of that to set my under eyes. And I'm gonna also use it to set my lids. And then I'm gonna take a fluffier brush and grab a little bit more of that powder, dusting off the extra in a lid. And use that to set the rest of my face. And like I said, I don't have a mini brow product, so I'm just going to use this one from Merit. I'm in the shade Blonde. I'm just going to quickly comb that through. Kind of go backward to build up product, and then I brush it through. So I do have a mini eyeshadow palette. This is the ABH Soft Glam. It's a mini version of their full size Soft Glam palette. I don't wanna do anything too intricate, so I'm gonna start by taking Dusty Rose and putting that in the crease. I'm gonna take a little bit of this shade here, Dreamer. I'm gonna grab it with my finger, 
tap it on the first half of the lid and move it up to the crease. I will take a little bit of Sultry, which is that darker shade, grab it with my finger and put it on the outer half. I have all these clean brushes in front of me and I still resort to just using my fingers. And I don't have a mini liner, so I'm gonna use this black shadow right here. And I'm gonna take an angled brush from Essence. And just use that to press into my lash line. I have just the teeniest little bit of leftover eyeshadow in that Tempera shade, which is just a matte cream. I'm going to run that along my lower lash line just to brighten things up. And then go into that dreamer shade again. And put that on the inner corner. Now I have two mini powder highlighters. They're both from Becca. I have Vanilla Quartz and Rose Quartz. You can see that top one is Rose Quartz and that bottom one is Vanilla Quartz. They both look really beautiful on the skin. I think I'm going to go with Rose Quartz. I like to do my highlighter first and then my blush second. For my blush, I have a mini hourglass blush. This is in the shade Nude Exposure. It's a really beautiful plummy type of rosy shade. And this is matte even though it does have a little bit of their one of their ambient lighting powders in it. I don't think it's one that has any sparkle to it. I really like this blush. Every time I pull it out, I kind of want to keep using it over and over again. <laughs> Just such a beautiful color. Okay, now I'm gonna use some setting spray. I have a mini here from Tarte. This is the Shape Tape Stay Spray. I don't find that this is super mattifying. Like, I don't understand how it says it, it can make your makeup last for 16 hours. Cause it's not like the Urban Decay where you wear it and it feels like, okay, my skin feels set. Like it just doesn't have, I don't know. It just feels a lot more moisturizing, I guess. I'm not sure how to explain it. When you put on the Urban Decay All Night or Setting Spray, you apply it and you're like, okay, my face feels set. Like there's something about how that feels. Maybe it's just all the alcohol in there tightening your skin. <laughs> but this one I don't get that from and it, it leaves me a little bit glowier than the Urban Decay one. So I'm just not sure how good it is at actually being super long lasting. Uh, but it does have a very strong scent. I can't really describe what that scent is though. I'm not sure how to describe it. And I don't know if you can tell, but my skin definitely looks a little bit more dewy than before I put on the spray. So I am gonna go in with a little bit of that peachy powder again and just add a little light dusting of powder right to where I tend to get oily, which is my T-zone. Now I'm gonna curl my lashes. No, I don't have a mini lash curler either. Then I'm gonna put on one of my favorite mascaras. This is a mini of Tarte's Lash Paint. I really like plastic bristle brushes. I don't like the natural ones as much. For lip products, I do have four minis to choose from. One of them is a gloss. This is a mini gloss from Marc Jacobs in the shade Sugar Sugar. And then I have two mini lipsticks from Charlotte Tilbury. This one is in the shade Stone Rose, and then this one is in the shade Pillow Talk. Stone Rose is this one over here, and then Pillow Talk is this one over here. If you can see, Stone Rose has a very strong orange tone to it, uh, which I'm not really looking for today. So I think I'm gonna go with Pillow Talk. And I do have the tint Maracuja Juicy Lip in the shade Rose on my lips currently. I love the formula of this. It just makes my lips look so nourished and soft and it feels really nourishing. It feels thicker and nicer. If you can get over that coconut scent and taste at the beginning, I do feel like it goes away. Maybe I just don't notice it as much. I just purchased a mini of their plumping version of this just because I'm really curious to see what the difference is. But I am gonna wipe this off so that I can try the other products too. Like I said, I don't have a mini lip liner, so I'm just gonna use this Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in the shade Pillow Talk. It is sort of like a mini now because I've used it so much that it's very small. Once I line my lips, I like to go over with my finger pad and just push it in. I kind of feel like it helps my lips look plumper once I put the lipstick on. And I do have a little travel size perfume and it's from Sol de Janeiro. It does smell a lot like the cream. And I, I remember having the body spray forever ago. And I do feel like it's a little bit stronger than that, but it does have the same scent. So this is the final look for the makeup. I really like 
all the products that I talked about today. Um, even though those two mini foundations aren't the fullest coverage, I feel like once you put the rest of your face on, it's not as noticeable. Please let me know if there are any brands out there who do offer really great minis and deluxe sizes. I think this is going to be something that I really enjoy doing, getting to try new products from brands but on a smaller scale so that I'm not committing to full size products, especially full size cheek products, things that take me forever to use up like blushes and highlighters. I think it's also really great for foundations and concealers because foundations take me forever to use up and if I don't know about the formula, if I don't know how it's going to perform on my skin. Um, it is more of a risk to purchase the full size just to try it out. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching me do an entire face full of mini products. I do plan on filming some more videos today. I really don't have any other time to do it and I do apologize for my weird schedule. Sometimes I upload like every other day and then I don't upload for like three weeks. We are in the process of finishing a move and I just really haven't had a lot of extra time to film and I do plan to get back into a schedule eventually. I just really am filming whenever I can. So I really hope you'll stick with me while I'm trying to figure things out. But in the meantime, that's everything I have. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.